In this problem, we're told a hypothetical planet has a mass 1.8 times that of Earth, but has the same radius. What is G near its surface? So in order to solve this problem, there's a formula you need to know. So the G near its surface, right, the gravity, which is acceleration essentially, is going to be equal to the gravitational constant times the mass of the hypothetical planet, right, the mass of the planet, over the radius, or r sub planet, right, so the radius of our planet squared. So this is the formula that you use in order to solve for uh, the g near its surface. So what we need to do is decide what each of these numbers are. So we need to find out g first. And so g is just the gravitational constant, which is a number you just have to memorize. And so you need to know that it's going to be equal to 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. So this is just that number, right? So the gravitational constant. Now we need to determine the mass of our planet and the radius of our planet. So keep in mind, they say the mass is 1.8 times that of Earth, but the radius is the same. So essentially, the radius of our planet is the same as the radius of the Earth. So the radius of the Earth is something uh, you also should memorize. And so the radius of the Earth is equal to 6.38 times 10 to the sixth meters. So this is the radius of our Earth, but keep in mind, it's the same as the radius of our planet because they tell us so. And so now we need to determine the mass of the planet. And so we know it's going to be 1.8 times that of Earth. So we need to, we need to uh, take the mass of the Earth, right? And so you need to know the mass of the Earth, another number you have to memorize, 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. So this right here is the mass of the Earth. And so keep in mind, our hypothetical planet is going to be 1.8 times this. So I'm just going to call it uh, MP, right? So it's going to be 1.8 times 5.98 times 10 to the 24. So all we have to do is just multiply 1.8 times 5.98, and then that's going to give us our answer. So it's going to be equal to 10.764 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. So this is the mass of our planet, right? We have the mass of our planet. We have the radius, right? That's what we solve for. Or it's just the same as the Earth, right? So the radius of our planet is the same. We have that, and now we have G. So what we do is just plug it in and solve now. So A is going to be equal to G on top, right? So 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 multiplied by the mass of our planet, which is 10.764 times 10 to the 24. So that's that. And then we divide by the radius of our planet, right? Which is the same as Earth. So 6.38 times 10 to the sixth. Keep in mind it's squared though. So this is going to be what we have to solve. So if you want to go ahead and do this, just do 6.67, multiply it by 10. So take 6.67, multiply it by 10.764, and then divide that number by 6.38 squared. And that's going to give us uh, the initial number, right? So you should get 1.76 when you do that. So that's 1.76, but we still have times and then 10 to the whatever. So the way we find that is by adding our exponents up top. So 24 plus or will you add them up, right? So minus 11 plus 24 is 13. And then on the bottom, uh, 2 times 6 would become 12, right? So this is really to the 12. And then you just subtract, uh, you take your top one, 13, and then minus the bottom one. So 13 minus 12 is just 1. So really it's just 10 to the 1, right? And so if you take 10 multiplied by 1.76, uh, you're just going to get 17.6. And so this right here is going to be your acceleration. And keep in mind, uh, we measure acceleration in meters per second squared. So 17.6 meters per second squared is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.